talked a lot lately about the challenges that are facing home buyers. One thing we've mentioned is the cost of lumber is skyrocketing. In fact, one new home builder, Woodside Homes, has fallen victim to lumber theft, costing thousands of dollars. Aside from the rising cost of raw goods, sheer demand is making things even tougher. Madison Kimbrough joining us now live tonight to explain. Madison? Yeah, Denise, we spoke to a superintendent here at Woodside Homes that says that lumber is such a hot commodity right now. It's so hot that they have been struck by thieves more than once. And I've also talked to a realtor who says that more and more people want new home lots, more than are available. New home inventory has been huge for us this year. A lack of inventory tied together with near record demand means getting a hold of a new home site in some cases is like winning the lottery, literally. The builders are overwhelmed with the demand that they're experiencing. So instead of creating these long lists, they are now doing a lottery system, which is the fairest way that they've established. They can uh, distribute the few listings that they do have coming available. People are turning to new construction because the resale market just isn't what it used to be, as homeowners are staying put. As many people are nervous because if they do sell their homes, they're nervous about purchasing another home in this market. They don't want to end up in a situation where they don't have a home to live in. And with new construction homes, they're hard to build without materials. Uh, we had about $10,000 worth of lumber stolen from this job site, actually from this location where we're standing right now. Mo Hader is the general superintendent for builder Woodside Homes and explains that because of lumber's high demand, it's a common material to steal. That combined with the pandemic effect, it's making things tough. Right when COVID started, a lot of the mills shut down, and so that created a strain on what we have. So the demand of homes is high. We have a limited supply. As mills are opening up, they have certain pro uh, protocols for COVID, which we are now seeing that that is reducing their, their production. As of now, Hader says no suspects have been caught, but they've asked new homeowners in the development to keep a sharp eye out. And as you can see, it's not just one thing making it hard to buy home, but several. Now, as for the site we were at today, Crystal Canyon Community, that is in Summerlin. If you're interested in any of those homes, you will be put on a waiting list. Reporting live, Madison Kimbrough, 8 News Now.